So, Hare Krishna, welcome everyone. Thank you for coming to our first Sunday Love Feast. The Sunday Love Program. Um, so, we'll be having a, a short discussion on the Bhagavad Gita now. And uh, followed by another uh, chanting session, another session of music, meditation, kirtan, and then followed by prasad. So, I'll read the Sanskrit and we can chant it thrice with a call and response fashion. So, I request everyone to repeat after me. This is Sanskrit, um, but it's a very beautiful language and it's very, uh, it's very purifying to repeat these, uh, these, these Sanskrit verses. And then we will read the translation and the purport, and then uh, we'll have a short discussion. <coughs> All right. So, chapter one: observing the armies on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. It's uh, okay. Everyone's got it out. All right. Text one: Dhritarashtra Uvacha. Dharmakshetre Kurukshetre Dharmakshetre Kurukshetre Samaveta Yuyutsavaha Samaveta Yuyutsavaha Mamaka of Pandavas Chaiva Mama Kaf Pandavas Chaiva Kimakurvata Sanjaya 
धृतराष्ट्र उच धर्म क्षेत्र कुरुक्षेत्र समेतायुत्सव मामका पांडवाश्चा किमकुर्वत संजय सो वि ट्रांसलेशन Dhritarashtra said, "O Sanjaya, after my sons and the sons of Pandu assembled in the place of pilgrimage at Kuru Kshetra, desiring to fight, what did they do?" Purport: Bhagavad Gita is the widely read theistic science summarized in the Gita Mahatmya, glorification of the Gita. There it says <coughs> that one should read Bhagavad Gita very scrutinizingly. with the help of a person who is a devotee of shri krishna and try to understand it without personally motivated interpretations the example of clear understanding is there in the bhagavad gita itself in the way the teaching is understood by arjuna who heard the gita directly from the lord if someone is fortunate enough to understand bhagavad gita in that line of disciplic succession without motivated interpretation then he surpasses all studies of vedic wisdom and all scriptures of the world one will find in the bhagavad gita all that is contained in other scriptures but the reader will also find things which are not to be found elsewhere that is the specific standard of the gita it is the perfect theistic science because it is directly spoken by the supreme personality of god at lord shri krishna the topics discussed by dhritarashtra and sanjaya as described in the mahabharata form the basic principle for this great philosophy it is understood that this philosophy evolved on the battlefield of kurukshetra which is a sacred place of pilgrimage from the immemorial time of the vedic age it was spoken by the lord when he was present personally on this planet for the guidance of mankind the word dharma kshetra a place where religious rituals are performed is significant because on the battlefield of kurukshetra the supreme personality of godhead was present on the side of arjuna dhritarashtra the father of the kurus was highly doubtful about the possibility of his son's ultimate victory in his doubt he inquired from his secretary sanjaya what did they do he was confident that both his sons and the sons of his younger brother pandu were assembled in that field of kurukshetra for a determined engagement of the war still his inquiry is significant he did not want a compromise between the cousins and brothers and he wanted to be sure of the fate of his sons on the battlefield because the battle was arranged to be fought at kurukshetra which is mentioned elsewhere in the vedas as a place of worship even for the denizens of heaven dhritarashtra became very fearful about the influence of the holy place on the outcome of the battle he knew very well that this would influence arjuna and the sons of pandu favorably because by nature they were all virtuous sanjaya was a student of vyasa and therefore by the mercy of vyasa sanjaya was able to envision the battlefield of kurukshetra even while he was in the room of dhritarashtra and so dhritarashtra asked him about the situation on the battlefield both the pandavas and the sons of dhritarashtra belong to the same family but dhritarashtra's mind is disclosed here in he deliberately claimed only his sons as kurus and he separated the sons of pandu from the family heritage one can thus understand the specific position of dhritarashtra in his relationship with his nephews the sons of pandu as in the paddy field the unnecessary plants are taken out so it is expected from the very beginning of these topics that in the religious field of kurukshetra where the father of religion shri krishna is present the unwanted plants like dhritarashtra san duryodhana and others would be wiped out and the, and the thoroughly religious persons headed by dhritarashtra headed by yudhishthira would be established by the lord this is the significance of the words dharma kshetra and kurukshetra apart from their historical and vedic importance All right um i appreciate maybe if the worries could move further in all the way out there i don't see anyone like no 
move in and closer. We got a lot of space here. Okay. So as it's explained over here, the Bhagavad Gita is one of the most ancient texts in the world. The Bhagavad Gita was spoken 5,000 years ago and is one of those texts that have been highly preserved and recorded for the benefit of humankind. The Bhagavad Gita contains 800 verses and all these 800 verses are found you know, in the same fashion all over India. Maybe with a few minor variations here and there. So this is why this Bhagavad Gita is such an important text that it comes from a time and age before even all the religions that we know today in the world have existed. It comes from a time, comes from a very, very long period, uh, period of time in history. And, but yet it presents the best spiritual knowledge. Like Srila Prabhupada states here, that the Bhagavad Gita, one will find in the Bhagavad Gita all that is contained in other scriptures, but the reader will also find things that are not to be found elsewhere. So why is that? Because Bhagavad Gita, Srila Prabhupada describes the Bhagavad Gita here as widely read theistic science. Now in that science is different and theism is different. You know, science is it's not theistic because science doesn't prove God or at least so is the understanding. But yet the Bhagavad Gita is called theistic science because it it's not something that, that that's uh, it's not something that is meant for just a particular sect of human beings or a particular race of human beings, but rather it's meant for everyone. The Bhagavad Gita talks about the soul. It talks about the nature of this world. There are five topics that are discussed in the Bhagavad Gita. And topics that are discussed are about the Supreme Controller, um, God, the, the spirit soul, the individual spirit souls, jivas, that is all of us, all the living entities. And then the factor of time is discussed, kala. And then material nature, the nature of this material world, that is discussed. And then kala prakriti, and then karma, the, 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 the uh, effects of karma, action and reaction. These, these topics are discussed. So, now, all of these things are, 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 are subject matters for discussion for, whole, for all of human society, not just for, you know, it's not like karma, it's the, the, the principle of karma when we understand, I think most of us, under, we understand what karma is. Karma is action and reaction. If I perform a particular action, I get a reaction for it. If it's a good, if it's a good, if it's a good action, I get good reaction. Therefore, people say, you know, you get good karma when you say you do, uh, you know, good activities. You help someone. You 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 say you 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 um, um, help a poor person, a hungry person with some food. Then you get some good karma. And then, if you inflict misery on a living entity, like say there's a dog, and you take a stick and unprovoked, you just keep whipping it, and that dog suffers. You might think that because I'm a human being, I can, I can let that dog suffer. But you get bad karma for that. And you get bad reactions. And karma goes over lifetimes. We have different... So the concept of karma is... We will read further. But the concept of karma basically explains why some, some people are born rich, some people are born poor, why some people are born as an American, why some people are born as Russian, Indian, whatever. Why we are, why someone, why someone is tall, why someone is thin. So all this is karma. And so you can say that, oh, this is only for the Hindus. This is not for me. No. These variations exist all over the world. The Bhagavad Gita also explains how um, about the cycle of birth and death. And then, <clears throat> we, again, the cycle of birth and death applies to everyone. The knowledge of the soul, that we are not these bodies, but we are spirit soul. This also applies to everyone. So Bhagavad Gita, therefore, is a universal theistic science. It is, it is science because here, the presentation of spirituality 
is 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 logical and yet very very profound and authorized because it comes from very very um, uh, it comes from 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 a very ancient period of time so here it is said that and and it and and we understand that the Bhagavad Gita is directly spoken by the supreme personality of God at Sri Krishna so Sri Krishna is in the Bhagavad Gita is called as Bhagavan he is called as the supreme controller and the possessor of all opulences so Krishna is stated to be an incarnation for the benefit of the world so there are different incarnations of the supreme absolute truth and Krishna is Krishna is the supreme absolute truth and he appears in this world in different times and places to re-establish the principles of conduct. And so this Bhagavad Gita was spoken by him 5000 years ago and recorded. So, and therefore this is, this is considered as a very, very uh, authentic text. Now, the Bhagavad Gita is not just like a text that was just spoken, but there's there, there's a whole setting that goes along with it. So the first chapter basically will talk about how the Bhagavad Gita was placed in a particular setting. And why is that setting so important? Why, why can't we just go directly to the instructions? Because why should I think about some historical setting? Because interestingly, that historical setting is what each and every one of us go through in our own lives. The historical setting that is presented in the Bhagavad Gita talks about fratricidal war, a, 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 a person called Arjuna who is confused about his duty, who does not know how to attain happiness in life. And basically each and every one of us go through similar problems and go through similar questions. Why, am I, why, why is this happening to me? Why, how do I attain happiness in life? So these questions are raised by Arjuna. And the setting, um, the setting uh, sets, the, sets the mood for, for receiving that instruction. And when we understand that actually we are in the same situation as Arjuna, then we understand the need for hearing Bhagavad Gita. So, um, so what is the setting? So the setting is 5,000 years ago, the, the, the Bhagavad Gita was, is recorded in, in, a, in, a, in, in a part of a larger text called the Mahabharata. The Mahabharata, Bharata refers to um, the tract of land called India. But actually, formerly, um, Bharata refers to, referred to the whole world. So, 5,000 years ago, in this tract of land called Bharata, there, were, there was a family of kings called the Kurus. And so there were two, there were two kings called Dhritarashtra and Pandu. They were brothers, so they were sons of a of of, of a king. And uh, Dhritarashtra, who is who is asking the question over here, he's asking a question to his minister, Sanjaya. Um, this Dhritarashtra is actually blind; he he cannot see, and he's old. And when he asks this question, he's very old, and he has his brother. Pandu, who is younger than him. And so both Dhritarashtra and Pandu have their sons. So Dhritarashtra's sons are called the Kauravas, whereas the sons of Pandu are called the Pandavas. And Dhritarashtra is elder to Pandu. So if you know how kings and dynasties work, the, at least in India, the elder son, he takes the throne. So, but Dhritarashtra couldn't take the throne because, because um, you know, because he was blind. So he was not qualified to, to take the throne. So the throne was given to his younger son, Pandu. And then by the, you know, by destiny, Pandu died before Dhritarashtra. And so what was, what is the natural outcome of this? Is that because Pandu was the king, his sons take the throne. But what happens is because Pandu's sons were very young, Dhritarashtra was temporarily given the throne to manage because this, the, until the sons of Pandu became uh, of age, and then the, Pan, the Pandavas, they would take over the throne. 
But what Dhritarashtra does is, he usurps the, the, the throne and tries to give it to his sons, the Kauravas. So that is the setting of this, 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 this the Bhagavad Gita, that there are the sons of Dhritarashtra, Kauravas, who want the throne, which is basically the entire kingdom of the whole world. Because 5,000 years ago, from Vedic civilization, we understand that uh, the emperors of the world ruled from from India. There were different kings in different parts of the world, but uh, the capital was in, in in where where New Delhi is right now, Hastinapura. And um, and so the Kauravas they wanted the throne, whereas the sons of Pandu were the actual uh, hair, hairs. And so this fratricidal war happens. And the Kauravas, they're very they're they're evil by nature. They have, they tried in so many ways to kill the Pandavas. They tried to inflict suffering. They, the Pandavas had had a wife named Draupadi. They tried to disrobe her and almost basically try to rape her in front of the assembly of, of kings. So they did they did a lot of things. They tried to put the Pandavas in a house made of wax like covered with wax and tried to set that, uh, set that house on fire so that the Pandavas would be burned to death. So in this way the Kauravas were by nature um, they were not virtuous and the Pandavas on the other hand they were virtuous and they were devotees of Krishna. So eventually the Pandavas they tried to work out a truce, they tried to work out an agreement with, with, the, with, the, uh, with the Pandavas uh, sorry, the Pandavas tried to work out an agreement with the Kauravas. It didn't work. So now they're on the battlefield. So why is this so... Uh, um, why, why is any, it's, it's, another, it's another battle. So why is this, um, why is this uh, related to us? Because the people on the other side of the battlefield are, are the Pandavas' own cousin brothers, their own uncles, their own... Um, their, their, their grandfather, their teachers, their sons, their relatives, they're all on the opposite side and the Pandavas are, are on one side. So there's a battle between the same members of the family and the situation is such that both parties are determined to kill each other. And so Arjuna, we will see later in this, in this chapter, he becomes very morose. He he doesn't want he doesn't he doesn't want to kill his his uh, he doesn't want to kill his cousins and doesn't want himself to get killed either but one of these have to happen and so arjuna brings up this whole philosophical question as to why all this needs to happen in the first place why should why should it why should it be a win and a lose why can it be a win and win why is this whole world set up in a way that i'm pitched against the people i love why do my loved ones turn against me why why, um, why, why, why is the world not running in a manner where everyone can be happy? And why, is, why does everyone have selfish interests? And how can, how, can, how can I overcome this? So, that is the context of, 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 the, uh, of the Bhagavad Gita. And, and interestingly, um, as Srila Prabhupada is trying to, is, um, as Srila Prabhupada is explaining in this, in this, in this verse, so Dhritarashtra, his mind is um, his mind is revealed in this verse. He says, "Dharma Kshetra." So this is Dharma Kshetra refers to a uh, a holy place. So a holy place is where one performs pious activities. Right? You go to a church. Why is, for instance, um, now schools are not exactly holy places, but one expects that in school, you know, you you expect education, care for children and these things to happen. Therefore, school shootings are such a tragic thing. Right? It's like, it's, it's, it's like of all places, does this need to happen in a school? Does this need to happen to small children? So it's similarly, you know, when, 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 when acts of violence happen in a church or a mosque or things like that, it's, it's, it's extra painful because people over there are going to pray, pray to God and they're seeking peace and happiness in their lives and the place where they seek peace and happiness is the place where the worst violence was unleashed on their lives taking their lives so it's very tragic 
So similarly, that's that's how tragic the Bhagavad, the, 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 the battle of Kurukshetra is. It's happening in a holy place. It's not expected to happen in a place of pilgrimage, but it is happening in a place of pilgrimage. And what is his mind? He says that, um, Dhritarashtra, he says that my sons and the sons of Pandu have assembled in the place of pilgrimage. So he separates. He doesn't say this is one family. Immediately he's separating. This, uh, this is what selfish people do. It's like mine and, and that is, this is, this is mine and that is his. And what happens is when this is mine and that is his, then I want his. I want hers. I want this. And because I'm not the possessor of everything. So whereas a spiritual minded person, he understands that actually nothing belongs to him and nothing belongs to anyone. It belongs to the controller of this world. I, we didn't create anything and we're not going to take anything when we die also. So if we, if we share things in cooperation with understanding of achieving Krishna consciousness or achieving spiritual advancement, then the world can be a peaceful and happy place. But if I think I am an American and there is a Russian and because Russia and America are supposed to be enemies, that guy is my enemy. And then I have to kill him. So this is the mentality that Dutrashtra is expressing over here. This is the mentality. It's like in India, um, when the partition happened, between uh, when India got independence from the British, the British rule, um, the British, they didn't want to leave India the way they found it. So they created discord between the Hindus and the Muslims. And what happened is, like Srila Prabhupada, he, 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 lived, he lived during that period of the partition when India got independence. And in his city, Calcutta, the Hindus and Muslims, they used to live like right next door to each other. And they used to attend each other's festivals like, because they're neighbors. And they used to go, okay, there was a marriage, they would go to their marriage and you come back and this. But in the partition, suddenly, everyone turned enemies of each other. And people were killing each other. Like they, every day, there, there are many tragic stories. Every day, a person, a couple of people would go to the corner tea shop and drink tea. But then that day, when they went to drink tea, the guy in the tea shop who had been serving tea to his customer for so many years, pulled out a gun and shot him. Why? Because now he was, because he was either Hindu and the guy was Muslim or vice versa. Suddenly, became enemy. How is this possible? Because of this mentality. Because of this mentality that, that I and mine and another person that I am different from the other person because this is not a spiritual vision if we understand we're spirit souls then we don't differentiate we act on the spiritual platform but when we're not spiritual these kind of things happen and it happens in our lives it happens in our day-to-day -day lives we're discriminated against people we don't want to be discriminated against we're pitched again so that's 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 what's happening over here and um, so, and he says, um, my sons and the sons of Pandu desiring to fight. So he knows they're, they're, they're there to fight. And then he's asking, what did they do? It's like telling a person, he sat down to eat lunch. What did he do? Hmm. He sat down to eat lunch. What is he going to do? You already said he's going to eat. So why is, why is Dhritarashtra asking that question? Because... Because he doesn't want a truce. He doesn't want the truce to happen. He wants that his sons win and the sons of Pandu, which are his own nephews, be killed. And he just wants to make sure because it's a holy place and maybe, you know, it's just like, you know, sometimes when you take people to, you know, say a park or something, you know, then it's a more peaceful setting. And then sometimes some, you know, even an angry person kind of calms down and then some, you know, some, some, po some progressive and positive talks tend to happen. So Dhritarashtra just wanted to make sure that such things don't happen. Because, oh, it's a holy place, it's a pilgrimage, so maybe his sons might suddenly feel a little righteous 
and act and do the right thing? No. So they have the whole world. They have the whole world. And, 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 the, and the Pandavas, they asked for five villages to rule. Exactly five villages. That was their least request. They said, just give us five villages. We don't need anything else. We're, we're Kshatriyas. We need to do something. We need to have our livelihood. We're rulers. We're warriors. We need to rule. But the sons of the, the Kauravas, the sons of Dhritarashtra, they refused to do so. So this is the this is the situation that the, that the Bhagavad Gita is in, and um, and as stated um, in the in the purport that because it is Dharma Kshetra and Kuru Kshetra, because it is a place of pilgrimage, and because Krishna, the supreme personality of Godhead, is present in the in the battlefield, these problems that that the Pandavas are are encountering. This, this fratricidal war, this discrimination, this uh, adharma, as it is called in, in, in Sanskrit, irreligion, this will be vanquished. And how it is vanquished is the basic, is the, is the whole subject of the Bhagavad Gita. How the Pandavas are placed in a happy situation um, uh, is explained in, in the Bhagavad Gita. So I will stop here. And uh, if there are any questions or comments, I can take. He can ask about uh, anything in general, um, but specifically if you have anything in this in this um, verse, then we can discuss about it. Everyone is welcome to raise things. Yes, uh, just wondering about the history. Like, was the war at one point? Were they trying to avoid the war in, in any shape? Yeah, they tried a lot. They tried a lot to avoid it. That um, they, they tried to avoid it so much that, uh, as I said, you know, um, first what happened is that the the, the 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 Pandavas they were requesting for half the kingdom. Actually, they deserve the whole kingdom, but then they thought, why to fight? Why to kill? Why all this bloodshed? It's it's not needed. So. It's just like we see today, nations fighting amongst each other for there's so much land and so much place where people can live. But no, you know, people have to be crowded in spaces and, and the economy. So similarly, um, the Pandavas, they thought, why do, why do, so why, let's, let's ask, for, then they asked for half the kingdom. Then, when the war was just imminent and, you know, the, 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 the Kauravas were intent on, on fighting and killing the Pandavas, the Pandavas requested for five villages. And they sent Krishna, the Supreme Personality got it as a messenger. This is the whole, this is the whole subject of the Mahabharata. It's, Mahabharata basically means the great history of India. So the history or the history sorry, the history of greater India. So India India once was a much, much, much bigger country. So um, and the Panda the 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 uh, the Pandavas actually sent Krishna, who who is who is neutral. He he had he doesn't take he didn't take sides. The, the, Krishna is is related to both the Kauravas and the Pandavas, as 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 their cousin. So um, they they sent Krishna with the attempt that let's try to stop this war. Let's try to stop this battle. But. Um, yeah, he went to talk to Duryodhana. He showed his universal form. He said, see, I'm not an ordinary person. I'm the Supreme Personality of Godhead. You're, and I am siding with the Pandavas. So, you're not going to win. If you, if you accept a truce, then, then, then everyone can be happy. But, no, Duryodhana thought, ah, this Krishna is a magician. You know, he's, he's showing some magic. We'll arrest him. So, they tried to arrest Krishna, and then they couldn't do so, and so it's it's like it's like that. It's the same mentality where people, you know, overwhelming presence, overwhelming evidence that there is a controller in this world. That this world is not just like it's not random. It's like okay, there was a big bang and everything popped out of nothing, you know. But did this building pop out of nothing? Is there anything that in our in our experience that popped out of, or or if there's a bang, if there's a blast? Um, that something was created out of the blast and not something was destroyed. If I say I put a bomb under this building, uh, if I get 
four more townhouses. I'd be gr- that'd be great. Then we keep bombing the whole city and we might, might you know, expand New York. Like you know, that'd be fantastic. I put a bomb and it's, just, it's gone. But the scientists they say that there was a big bang. Again, they don't they don't exactly have evidence for it, and they say this is how the universe was created. So it's like that. It's like there's overwhelming evidence that there is a creator. Now again, people don't, they're scared of accepting the concept of a creator because like, oh, the idea of a God is like, oh, he's just going to cast me into hell because I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm not going to church on Sunday or something like that. But no, that's not, that's not, that's not how the Bhagavad Gita is presented. That's not the concept of God that is presented. That's not the concept of religion that is presented either. So, um, so in this sense, the, uh, the Duryodhana was like any other, you know, atheist, or, or and 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 such kind of irreasonable people who, in the face of all evidence, would refuse to act spiritual, would determinately act materialistic and selfish, for the detriment of themselves and the detriment of the world. So and we face we face many people like this. We see many people like this. Uh, yes. Uh, I want to get I want to get your take probably on, on the fact that the, one of the major reasons uh, behind the war was that Judas Deer tried to gamble. Yeah. What? But that was not seen as like seen as a dharma. That was some somehow he was. Know, not held responsible for being so wrong that uh, he caused a lot of this because he wanted to to gamble. So what? What uh, was that? Just a lesson? Of some sort? No, it was it was it was his duty to gamble because um, a kshatriya or a warrior is that uh, there are different classes of men and the administrative class. They're called the kshatriyas, you will see um, further. And when they're called to a challenge, they must arise to the challenge. Otherwise, what happens is if they're called to a challenge and they don't arise to the challenge, the, the society was structured such that such a, a, a warrior and administrator would be rejected because he's not uh, valorous enough um, to, to arise. He's, so... So Yudhishthira had to. That's that's how they trapped him. He by by calling him, and then the thing is, even when and 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 even when it was pointed out that 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 the whole gambling match was rigged. It was rigged by Sakuni. Um, still, the Kauravas they did not relent, and they went all the way to to try to you know disrobe. Uh, or strip uh, Draupadi, the wife of the Pandavas, in the assembly of the Kurus, in the assembly of all the kings. It was very, 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 very bad accident. So, so Yudhishthira, he has, he had to, he had to accept that challenge. So, yeah. It's, it's that's this. This is why the Mahabharata is. It's complex. See, just like we have certain duties. Like and, and what happens is we execute these duties in life, but sometimes we know that some of the duties that we execute are actually going to get us into trouble, but then we, there's no option, there's no way out. We have to do these things. There, there are situations in our life that we go through. So uh, Yudhishthira went through a similar situation. The whole principle of Bhagavad Gita is how the Supreme Lord, He saves His devotees who are surrendered to Him, out of, and he protects them in these kind of situations. So that's that's why the Bhagavad Gita is so it's it's very interesting. Anything else? All right, so we can have kirtan then. All right. All right. Hare Krishna. So to, uh, next week we will read from uh, we'll read verse verse number two and uh, yeah like that so thank you thank you for uh, coming and hearing 
we'll have kirtan now and then we'll have a feast after that Hare Krishna alright so Ram Rai would you like to lead the kirtan? kirtan yeah, yeah, yeah. We will get it. They will get it. Till uh, one, one fifteen. Yeah. Go. Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Sarasvati Deve Ravani Prachane Nevashesha Sunyavadi Paskyata Deshatamine Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadara Jivasadi Gauravakta Brinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hare, 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 
अनिवाम हे राम 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 हरि हरे
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Ray Ray. Hare Nam, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Ray Ray. Hare Nam, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Nama, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jaya Korani Thai, Jaya Korani Thai, Korani Thai, Jaya Korani Thai. Nithai Korani Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo. Jai Prabhu Pad, Prabhu Pad, Prabhu Pad, Jai Prabhu Pad.
coming. Now we can serve the feast out. Everyone can sit however they like. The feast is going to be served How, here. However, we tell us what how to. It's going to be here. Huh? It's going to be upstairs. Yeah, but the feast is up here. Okay. Okay. The feast is going to be here in the temple room. Oh, the temple room. The temple room, and then uh, everyone can sit. You know however they like. They'll come give you. Yeah. 